Welcome back, ladies and gents. Let's jump straight to our exam with our first question. And question number one states, an organization is planning to implement a centralized user account management system. They want a solution where user accounts and security policies are managed centrally. What feature should they choose? Is it a workgroup? Is it B, arrow interface? Is it C, domain access? Or is it D, live tiles? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, domain access. In a business environment, especially with medium to large scale requirements for user authentication and access control, opting for domain access is pivotal. A domain provides centralized management of user accounts and security policies, offering efficient control and administration. Consider an organization with hundreds of employees spread across departments. Domain access ensures a unified user authentication system, simplifying account management and enhancing security. And now for the incorrect answers, work groups are suitable for smaller networks where each computer manages its user accounts independently. This decentralized approach is not conductive to the organization's requirement for centralized management. The Aero interface pertains to the visual design of the desktop and it's unrelated to user account management and live tiles are interactive elements on the start menu providing real-time information but they don't address the need for centralized user account management. And for the next question of our exam, question number two. And the question states, an individual is using a computer with a visually appealing desktop style that includes translucent windows. Which desktop style is likely being used? Is it a fluent design system? Is it B, Windows Arrow interface? Is it C, traditional layout? Or is it D, live tiles? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is B. Windows Arrow Interface. The Arrow Interface introduced in Windows 7 is known for its visually appealing features such as translucent windows and smooth animations. Users experiencing semi-transparent borders and sleek transitions are likely using the Windows Arrow Interface. Imagine a user navigating through open windows with transparent edges and fluid movements. The visual experience is, experience is indicative of the Windows Arrow interface. And now for the incorrect answers, the Fluent Design system is a more recent design language introduced in Windows 10, distinct from the Arrow interface. Traditional layout is a generic term and doesn't specifically describe the visual style associated with the Arrow interface. And live tiles are part of the Fluent Design system but are unrelated to the visual features of the Arrow interface. And for the next question of our exam, question number three. And the question states, an organization wants to enable remote access to a computer, allowing it to connect to users. Which Windows feature would support this requirement? Is it a remote desktop protocol or RDP? Is it B, digital signatures? Is it C, fluent design system? Or is it D, BitLocker? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is A, remote desktop protocol or RDP. For facilitating both incoming and outgoing connections, especially for remote access, the remote desktop protocol or RDP is the go-to solution. RDP ensures seamless connectivity between computers, enabling efficient remote troubleshooting and assistance. Consider an IT support team accessing a user's desktop remotely to diagnose and resolve issues. RDP provides the necessary features for such scenarios. And now for the incorrect answers, digital signatures focuses on data integrity and authentication, but aren't designed for remote access functionality. The Fluent Design System is a visual design language and doesn't directly relate to remote access features. And BitLocker is a tool for full disk encryption, unrelated to remote desktop functionality. And for the next question of our exam, question number four. And the question states, a user is experiencing limitations in RAM support and wants to upgrade to a version of Windows that allows for larger amounts of RAM. Which version should they consider? Is it a Windows 7 Home Premium? Is it B, Windows 10 Professional? Is it C, Windows 8 Enterprise? Or is it D, Windows XP Professional? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is B, Windows 10 Professional. Windows 10 Professional, especially the 64-bit edition, supports larger amounts of RAM compared to home editions. For users engaged in resource-intensive tasks, upgra upgrading to Windows 10 Professional ensures better support for larger RAM capacities leading to improved system performance. Imagine a user working on tasks like video editing or graphic design, 
that require substantial memory. Windows 10 Professional provides the necessary support for enhanced system capabilities. And now for the incorrect answers, Windows 7 Home Premium. Home editions typically have limitations in RAM support compared to professional or enterprise editions. Windows 8 Enterprise, whilst enterprise editions may support more RAM, Windows 10 is a more modern and widely used option. And Windows XP Professional, Windows XP is an outdated operating system with limitations in RAM support suitable for modern applications. And for the next question of our exam, question number 5. And the question states, a user wants to encrypt the entire drive to enhance data security. However, they are using a version of Windows that lacks built-in BitLocker support. What alternative should they consider? Is it a TrueCrypt? Is it B, FileVault? Is it C, BitLocker to go? Or is it D, Windows Defender encryption? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is a TrueCrypt. In the absence of built-in BitLocker support, TrueCrypt was historically a popular choice for whole disk encryption. It provided a robust and open source solution for users seeking to secure their entire drive. Imagine a user with sensitive data on their laptop. TrueCrypt allows them to encrypt the entire drive, adding an extra layer of protection against unauthorized access. And now for the incorrect answers, FileVault is, is specific to Mac OS and is not available on Windows system. BitLocker to go focuses on encrypting removable drives, not entire system drives. And Windows Defender primarily focuses on antivirus and anti-malware protection and does not provide full disk encryption capabilities. And for the next question for exam, question number six. And the question states, a company is planning to implement a secure method for storing sensitive data on a laptop. They want a solution that encrypts individual files rather than the entire drive. Which tool would be most suitable for this requirement? Is it A, BitLocker? Is it B, Windows Defender Firewall? Is it C, EFS or Encrypting File System? Or is it D, TPM or Trusted Platform Module? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is C, EFS or Encrypting File System. For securing individual files on a Windows system, Encrypting File System or EFS is the appropriate choice. It provides file level encryption, allowing users to protect sensitive data without encrypting the entire drive. Consider an employee needing to secure a specific folder containing confidential documents. EFS enables them to encrypt only the files within that folder, maintaining flexibility in data protection. And now for the incorrect answers, BitLocker is designed for full disk encryption, not individual file encryption. Windows Defender Firewall focuses on network security and does not offer file-level encryption capabilities. And TPM is a hardware-based security feature related to securing the system boot process and is not used for file-level encryption. And for the next question for exam, question number 7. And the question states... A user is looking to customize the appearance of their Windows desktop, including changing the Windows colors, background, and sound schemes. Which feature should they use for this customization? Is it A, Arrow Peak? Is it B, Windows Snap? Is it C, Personalization Settings? Or is it D, Task View? You now have 5 seconds. And the correct answer is C. Personalization settings. To customize the appearance of the Windows desktop, including window colors, background, and sound schemes, users should navigate to the personalization settings. This feature allows for a personalized and visually appealing desktop experience. Imagine a user wanting to set a specific wallpaper, change the col uh, accent color, and customize sounds. Personalization settings provide a centralized location for this customization. And now for the incorrect answers, Arrow Peak is associated with previewing open windows and is not the main feature for desktop customization. Windows Snap is used for arranging and organizing open windows, not for personalizing the desktop appearance. And Task View is more focused on managing open applications and virtual des desktops, not desktop customization. And for the next question for exam, question number 8. And the question states, an organization wants to limit the access of specific users to certain applications and features on Windows computers. Which tool should they use for this purpose? Is it a group policy editor or gpedit.msc? Is it B, device manager? Is it C, Windows firewall? Or is it D, registry editor? You have five seconds. And the correct answer is A, Group Policy Editor, or gpedit.msc. 
for controlling user access to applications and features on Windows computers, Group Policy Editor is the appropriate tool. It allows admins or administrators to define policies that govern user behavior and access. Consider an organization where certain employees should have restricted access to specific applications. Group Policy Editor facilitates the implementation of such restrictions. And now for the incorrect answers, Device Manager is used for managing hardware devices and drivers, not for controlling user access to applications. Windows Firewall is primarily focused on network security, not on application level access control. And Registry Editor is a tool for modifying system settings and configurations and is not designed for user access control. And for the next question for exam, question number 9. And the question states, a user is concerned about unauthorized access to their Windows computer and wants to implement a solution that requires a physical device for authentication. What feature should they consider? Is it a Windows Hello? Is it B, BitLocker? Is it C, Credential Manager? Or is it D, security and maintenance? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is a Windows Hello. To enable biometric authentication and secure login, Windows Hello is the suitable feature. It requires a physical device, such as a fingerprint scanner or a facial recognition camera, for user authentication. Imagine a user wanting to enhance the security of their login process by using facial recognition. Windows Hello allows them to set up this biometric authentication method. And now for the incorrect answers, BitLocker focuses on full disk encryption and is not directly related to biometric authentication. Credential Manager stores passwords and credentials, but does not provide biometric authentication features. And Security and Maintenance is a Windows feature for monitoring system health, but does not offer biometric authentication. And for the last question for exam, question number 10. But before that, ladies and gents, don't forget to drop a sub and share this video with your friends. And now back to our exam. An organization is planning to upgrade several Windows 7 computers to the latest version of Windows to ensure continued security updates and features. What update path should they follow? Is it a fresh install of Windows 10? Is it B in place upgrade to Windows 8.1? Is it C in place upgrade to Windows 10? Or is it D downgrade to Windows XP? You know, 5 seconds. And the correct answer is C, in place upgrade to Windows 10. For upgrading Windows 7 computers to the latest version with continued support, performing an in place upgrade to Windows 10 is the recommended path. This ensures a smooth transition whilst preserving user data and applications. Consider an organization with Windows 7 computers that need to stay current with security updates and features. In place upgrade to Windows 10 allows them to achieve this without a fresh install. And now for the incorrect answers, whilst the fresh install is an option for Windows 10, it involves reinstalling applications and migrating data separately. In place upgrade to Windows.8 is an older version and directly upgrading to Windows 10 is more practical for staying current and downgrading to Windows XP to an unsupported and outdated operating system like Windows XP is not a recommended approach for security reasons. Ladies and gents, this is the end of our exam. If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a sub and share this video with your friends. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you guys next time.